So you're working on a video and you got a hero in your shot like this guy, you want to introduce him and you want it to look kind of cool like this. So today we got a cool treat for you guys. Messiah, who creates DaVinci Resolve tools, had sent me out this freeze frame pack to uh, take a look at, review, and share with you guys. And they're having some huge Black Friday sales this year. This is 2020, so in case you're watching this video some later date, 2020, Black Friday. Messiah is going to be having a bunch of sales on their DaVinci Resolve stuff. So head on over to their website, check it out, and you're going to get these tools for free, these freeze frame tools. So I'm going to run through, just show you a few examples here of what they all look like. There's 10 of them. You just saw one of them. Hope you thought it was pretty cool because I thought it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you those and then I'm going to get into showing you how to use them. So check them out here. If you're interested, stick with the video and I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to use them. Go ahead and roll that tape. All right, so now that you guys saw what these freeze frame effects look like, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create them. All right, we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I got a clip in my timeline here, a girl walking down the street and we wanna add a freeze frame where she turns around right there so we can add some text on top of it. So how do we do that? The first thing we need to do is obviously get your clip into your timeline. Next, we need to open our retime controls. So go ahead and click on your clip and hit Command or Control R. That's gonna bring up your retime controls. Next, you want to find the spot where you want to add the freeze frame. So I want to find a spot in the video that's clear. Let's see, right about there. That looks good. I'm going to come to this little drop down arrow. I'm going to do freeze frame. So go ahead and click that. And you can see it added in a freeze frame here. All right, so now that we've got our freeze frame set on this clip, let's go ahead and play through it, see what it looks like. She's walking down the street. Then we're going to hit the point where our freeze frame starts. And that's where we're going to have our effect. And then the video is going to go back and just play through the rest of the video. So what I want to do is go and grab one of my effects. So I'm not going to show you how to install them here. You can check out Masai's website and find out how to install it over there. But I put mine in my media pool and in my power bins. So that way I can access it in any project. Now, if I look in my power bin here, what's cool is there is a MP4 file that shows me what the effect is going to look like. And there's 10 different effects. And then it's got the effect right next to it here. So I'm going to say, let's scroll down. I like this number nine. We're going to go with that. So just click on your effect, drag it over in your timeline and drop it in. Now you want to try and line up your effect here with where your freeze frame starts. So you just do the best you can. I'm going to eyeball it right now. That looks pretty good. Now you notice that the freeze frame does not go as long as the effect. So if you come in, you grab this little handle right here, you can click on it, hold and drag out. And again, I'm just gonna eyeball it and try and get it close to the end of the effect. Now, if I just click on the middle of the effect, you see it's just blurry and the effect is taking place. Now, what makes these things work is that you've got to mask out your subject, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a person, could be an object, whatever. You've got to mask it out. So you want to come to your freeze frame clip. I'm gonna just put my playhead at the beginning and you want to jump into the fusion tab. So hit this guy right here. Now you're going to find when you're in the fusion tab here, you've got a few nodes already. You've got your mask, the Messiah freeze frame, and then your media out. So you're going to draw your mask where it says your mask. Hey, go figure. Good idea, right? So click on there. You want to come up and grab one of your mask tools. 
And uh, I'm actually going to zoom in here a little bit. Let's just go, uh, I don't know, 200%. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to go ahead and mask her out. I'm just going to do a quick here. Obviously, the better the mask you want, the more time you're going to have to take to do it. But I'm just going to do one uh, real quick here. And then once you get to the end, you want to close your mask. Make sure you see that circle. Close it up. And now you should see your mask appear down here inside the box that says your mask. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back to fit. So you can see we got our mask all set around our subject there. And if I play through it, we should see the effect take place. There you go. She stays still in the freeze frame, doesn't move. And we're going to be able to add our text in there next. So I'm just going to actually come to a frame in the middle here so I can see the text. In order to edit the text, come to this node right here. Click on that. And now you've got your text options right here. So I'm just going to double click in here and change the text. So I'm going to plug in California. Now, if we jump back into the edit tab here, let's play through the complete thing and see how it all looks together. So there you have it, guys. Some awesome effects here by Messiah. They make a ton of great stuff. Head on over to their website, see what they have to offer. They got lots of sales going on for Black Friday 2020 here, and uh, I believe you get this with it. So definitely head over there and check it out. A big thank you to Messiah for sending me these so I can take a look at them and try them out and share them with you guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff that you always do. Hit the bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.